What's up minions, in this video I'm going to share the exact steps I use to research and write freelance articles. So if you're not sure how to research a freelance article or how to know what to write or what style to write it in, this video is going to be for you. Stick around. Hey minions, if you're new to the channel and you like what I have to say, then be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Only do this if you like what I have to say and if you want to hear more about freelancing, entrepreneurship, and personal world domination. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeVille, and on this channel, we help you break the chains that bind your mind to build a freelance empire. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to research your freelance articles. And that could be articles that you're writing for yourself or for a media outlet, or maybe for a client, most likely for a client. In this video, I'm going to show you the two main ways that I research articles when I'm writing for clients. And we're going to go ahead and just dive right in with that. So starting with number one, that is going to be go to Google and just find industry or niche related blogs. So if I am writing for a client who wants me to write articles on hair care or real estate or something like that, I'm just gonna go to Google, I'm gonna type in real estate blog or hair care product blog, and I'm gonna see what pops up. And whatever pops up, whatever blogs, whatever media outlets pop up with that are talking about this, I'm gonna click on those posts. I'm gonna click and read through some of those. So let's say I go to a real estate blog, I find one, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter what blog it is that's talking about this topic. I just want to get in there and see what they're saying. And I'm looking for a couple of things specifically, I'm looking for one, what are they saying? And two, how are they saying it? And three, what kind of problems are they talking about over and over? What problems do I see coming up again and again in different posts? What headlines do I see over and over again? And I'm going to take these and I'm going to note these down somewhere. So it could be in a Google Doc. It could be in like uh, Google's uh, keep.google.com. Their little notepad thing it could just be in a regular notepad on your desktop, whatever. But just note out some of these things. What are common topics that they talk about? What are some of the topics that got a lot of interest where people shared them a lot of times or liked them a lot? You can usually tell this by the amount of social media likes that are showing on the actual blog page. Or you can just go to the blog if it has comments at the bottom. Look, does it have a lot of comments? If so, then it might be a topic that people are interested in talking about a lot. Main points though, look for the problems. What problems are they talking about again and again? Because problems that are listed and showing on one blog are gonna be relevant for your articles as well. And what's interesting about blogs is that you can usually find really similar stuff to what you've been asked to write. So there's already a lot of blogs out there. There's already a lot of articles published. You can go find those articles, read through them, and they'll be very similar to the article you're about to write. So just Use that to prompt your ideas for your blog, expand on what's already out there, make it better, and then that's gonna help you write an awesome article for your clients. But in general, when you go to these media outlets or blog websites, it doesn't matter if it's a small blog or a huge, uh, huge international media outlet like Forbes or something, you just wanna find people who are talking to your specific industry or your client's specific industry, and then note out the similarities. What's similar in their headlines? What's similar in the body of their copy and the content and what are they talking about and what problems are they addressing and how are they addressing them also you want to note the speaking style what kind of slang do they use if any and what is the style of the writing is it more professional is it more casual these are all going to be really important for your own article the second way that i research articles is I actually go through the client. So this one's more for client work when I'm working with clients. I'm gonna reach out to my client and I'm gonna ask them, do you have any examples of what you're looking for? This could be a website that targets the same industry. It could be a, a website that's very similar to yours or has a very similar writing style or talks about similar problems. Do you have any blog articles or blog samples or media outlets where I could go and research this stuff or any other places that you would want me to look where they have similar stuff to what you're looking for from me. And by asking this question of your client, you're gonna get them to give you everything you need. So when the client responds and says, yeah, here's a couple of examples for you, go check these out. Now I know this is the exact writing style that my client wants. These are some of the problems that my client wants me to talk about. And this is how I need to approach this industry in my own writing. So if my writing style comes across as completely different from what the client sends me, that's not gonna be a great uh, article for the client because that's not what he asked for. So this is about getting the client to give you information. It's asking them for information. It's basically saying, hey, tell me exactly what you want 
so that I can give that to you, but it's kind of doing it indirectly. So your research here is that you ask the client to give you examples. What examples do you have? Do you have any examples? Can you send examples of something similar to what you're looking for that will help me figure out what you need and figure out how to deliver it for you? Now, once you do this, you're going to go to those websites. And again, you're going to be looking for similar things. So let's say the client sends you three websites and there's styles of writing on that website. You know, you want to look at the website. How is the copy structured? That's one thing to look at. What does the copy talk about? How does it talk about it? Is it a professional voice or are they using more casual and friendly tones? Things like that. And you just want to note these things down for your own reference. You probably want to save the website. And then as you're writing your own stuff, you can compare your article to what's on that website or what's on that blog and say, how similar are they? Now you don't want to copy and paste what they said. We're not, this isn't plagiarism. We're not copying what's in the article. What you want to mimic is the style of the article, the style of the tone of voice, the style of the speed of the writing, the different styles and structures, the structural style of the article, because that is what your client wants. They already know what they want. They've already seen it out there somewhere. They have an idea of what's good in their mind. So you want to give them what they want because that's how you get paid and that's how you get good feedback, of course. So you do the best writing you can, but you base it on what your client wants and what they're asking for and what they need. And the way to find that out is by asking them questions about those things. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Research, researching articles is really easy. This is not a complicated thing. You do not have to go out there and search through scholarly journal article articles, finding peer reviewed research studies or anything crazy like that. You just need to either go to the blogs that are already talking about this stuff and find out what they're talking about or ask the client to give you examples. Those are the two ways I do it most often. Now, if you're writing something like a scholarly article, then you might need to use scholarly sources, but that's not something I write. And I don't recommend most people do that because it's much harder to deliver great work. It's really easy to deliver awesome, good work for a good price. When you're just talking about, you know, general topics, casual topics, things that are easy to write about once you get going. So in your research, go to the media outlets and ask your client for examples. And this is going to be a way to get exactly what you need really easily and you're going to be able to deliver awesome work. All right, that's it for this tutorial video. This is day two, I think. So if you want to come back for more tomorrow, we will, or maybe the next day, I'm not sure which day I'll publish on, but we'll talk more about article writing and try and give you a few more tips to help you get going. But let me know in a comment down below, which one of these methods do you prefer? Which one have you tried? Will you go and research blogs by typing them in Google? Or will you go off and ask your client what they want either way or if you have something else let me know in, in a comment down below how do you do research maybe you have something totally different that works even better than these that i don't even know about love to hear from you i always love to hear from you guys and i really appreciate you sticking around subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you want more videos like this i'm lex deville i'll see you next time